going to just briefly go over how to uh, stop your Windows operating system from populating thumbs.dv files all over the place and uh, also you know just search, seek them out and uh, delete them. Okay so the best best way in Windows 8, Windows 8.1 to do this, you can also do this in Windows 7 and Windows Vista, is either go to your computer icon or go to the Windows Explorer icon. You're going to right click on, well first start with the C drive or whatever is your primary uh, disk drive and go to properties and under properties you're naturally by default going to see a check mark there under allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in, in additional or rather in addition to file properties. You're going to remove the check mark on the drive where you, um, where your operating system or where Windows is actually running from, when you click the OK button, there's going to be a dialog box, and the first thing you're going to notice is shortly it will come up and say that it can't change the file attributes. I believe it says for um, for a file in use, you're going to click Ignore All, and Ignore All is going to allow it just to continue on ignoring the system files that are already in use to complete the task. On subsequent drives, whether they're solid state drives or hard disk drives, same thing, you right click on the drive, choose properties. You're going to remove the check mark under this option here. If you also have compressed drive, uh, sorry, sorry, compress this drive to save disk space, you should remove that as well. Should not be compressing data on a modern computer. If you're running out of disk space, um, chances are you have a lot of MP3s or movies or something, iTunes, whatever you're using is f uh, filling the drive. Get yourself another hard disk drive, um, either install it yourself or have a, a, a professional install that for you and have your personal stored data, um, such as movies, moved over to the new drive um, so that you can free up space on your primary drive, okay? Because your storage can be separate, easily accessible, and you can also access your stored data on a secondary hard disk drive faster and more efficiently than from the same drive that the operating system is working on. So don't compress files either. That's, that's ridiculous for a modern computer that it's even available. So again, any any drive that's not a read-only drive, like uh, a Blu-ray, DVD, CD-ROM, you can change these properties. Right-click, Properties, remove the check mark for Allow Files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to File Properties. Click OK. Anytime you do that, you're going to have the dialog box for drives that the operating system is not running on. Chances are it'll just do it without asking you to intervene at all. If it is, just read the message that um, that's indicating. If it says a file is in use, usually because it's running in Windows Media Player, or if it's a video file, or, or it's an MP3 in Winamp, or whatever it happens to be, just make sure you're not running third-party programs while you do that to make it easy on yourself. And you can do the same thing with flash drives. If you have a USB flash drive, you can remove that as well, so it's not littering your flash drive with Thumbs database. So once you've done that, and those files um, are no longer being generated, what you're going to do is you're going to click the View menu, and you're going to go into Options, and then Change Folder and Search Options. Click on the View tab. You're going to scroll down slightly here, and you're going to see an option that says Hide Protected Operating System Files, Recommended. You're going to remove the check mark there for a moment. Choose Yes, of course. Excuse me. Choose Yes, of course. And click OK. It's going to, to now show you all of the Thumbs database files when you search for them. So use the search function, and you're going to type thumbs.db. It's going to search for them. It's going to take a while to search for them if you have multiple drives or depending on how much data you have stored on your drives. Now, this function will be slower with the Thumbs database turned off. However, the amount of, of times, even in a month, that most people require the search function um, is minimal. 
and it takes a minute or two really to, to look for data so you know it's not it's not a big deal so I'm just going to cancel this because there's not going to be any thumbs on the drive I've already removed them but once you've done that you can click the view menu go back to options change folder and search options go to the view tab and you're going to reinstate this option here for the uh, protection of system files you're not going to want to delete anything else that is available to you when that's disabled just thumbs.db files otherwise you could be deleting some data that the operating system actually needs so that's pretty much uh, how you take care of that it will maintain the windows search function so that Office Outlook, for example, will be able to find older emails very quickly because they, those will be indexed. However, it works differently, so um, you, you don't have a mass of Thumbs database scattered all over the, uh, the disk drive or the solid state drive, uh, so that's okay. So if you have any questions or comments, you can certainly put it uh, in the section below.